Hey there, city. Welcome back to this channel. It's a girl very more. I'm back with another reaction video. Today, guys, I'm going to be reacting to Asana B Productions, and we have Ben Shapiro is furious as pro Palestine TikTok. Asana Asana B reacts. Alright, guys. Uh, can't wait to get into the video. Before we get started, we have some amazing people watching us for the first time. If you are new to the channel, hello, I'm Vera. I do reaction videos. This is something that you love. Why not join Vera City? Please subscribe button below, turn on the post notification bell so that you can always be the first person to know whenever a new video drops. And that's guys, let's go. In defense of Hamas, the Geneva Convention. In the world, all call on Israel to return to its pre June 1967 border. That's not even true. That's not even true. Even the UN resolutions, which are garbage and stupid, even those UN resolutions call on Israel to surrender some of the occupied territory. <laughs> He's so dude, dude, this is so good. He's so good. Why did he get owned by a video he chose personally to watch? It just kept going. Terrorist group. We're gonna go through some of their videos. And we will, we will see what shining bright moral lights they have, how much nuance they can provide. This video is sponsored by our friends at GenuCell. Whenever you start <laughs> GenuCell. I love Ben being like, um, this is why the ethnic cleansing must continue until I feel sated, until my, <laughs> until my bloodlust has gone away. <laughs> this video was sponsored by GenuCell. With GenuCell, you can change your genes <laughs> or whatever. Losing hope, just remember that this hashtag, the ones that say stand with Israel, got millions of views. But the Palestine ones got multi Let's go! Of views. Run it up! Wait, wait, I don't get it. What's the, why is that why is that pro Hamas? Uh because all Palestinians are Hamas. This is Palest this is Hamas propaganda? Like what the fuck? Wait, I can't edit it. What Oh, edit post. Here you go. You're editing? I can't get over it because like I said, I can't over the fact. I can't get over the fact that one of John Fetterman's Fetter minions was just like him during this altercation. He's editing his little tweet. Yeah. He almost triple. Don't ever let the media fool you. The people stand with Palestine. This is with all the money that Israel. Hold on. Hold I, on I think, hold okay. On. First Wait. of all, I think that I think that like TikTok analytics to, to get a better assessment of what's going on is not the best way to do this. <laughs> Um, it is if you want to know what people who are afraid to ask for more ketchup at a restaurant are thinking. Okay, fair. I mean, you, that's you. Yeah. Are you talking about yourself? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> I mean, I was You don't trust the Israel versus Palestine myself. TikTok lives? Yeah, exactly. It's like looking at the fucking Israel versus Palestine TikTok lives of like, and being like, well, Palestine, the, the, the Palestinian side wins all the time spends on propaganda it doesn't matter the people are still hashtagging palestine way palestine. more influent, way more than israel so don't ever forget well, that what, you know why that is because there are 15 million jews on the planet and there are a billion muslims oh, on the planet shit. that would be i right, mean never mind never mind i changed my mind on all this wait i mean he's not <laughs> wrong that he's literally right that is definitely a part of it and and yet there is no there is no democracy it's also not one billion, it's two, so. Be the reason. I love oh, the conspiratorial. Oh my, the Jews with their money and those money Jews. But we are still winning. Wait, it's a conspiracy to say that Israel spends a fuck ton of money specifically to propagandize? What are you saying? Like, anytime, like, what the fuck? It's like, wow. You mean uh, Jews engaging? Uh, Jews engage in purchasing things with money. Uh, got you. Classic. Are you saying Jews love money? It's like no, man. That's that's not. Nobody said that. The fuck. Also, fifty million Jews, but like not all of them are fucking pro-Israel, especially not as pro-Israel as you are. Um. Oh my God. What do you have to say to this? Sorry, I just I got uh, out of control here. I uh, just am listening to what he has to say so I can kind of, you know, oh. weigh, weigh it all out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're like, you're in the center right now. You're like, I don't know. I don't know if I I'm... Know. Seems like he might have some good takes. He, he, he said there are a lot of Muslims because that's the first thing he was like, well, have you considered that there are a lot of Muslims? And that part is not... Trending? That part is not wrong. He is right about yeah, that. Yeah, I know. But like, that is part of the stupid. reason why the hashtag is, is so prominent. And, and it's not just like the Muslim world as well. 
Um, I, I would say that there are absolutely more people all around the world that look to the situation in, 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 in Israel with their ethnic cleansing campaign and say, that's fucked up, then vice versa, regardless of the uh, overwhelming media narrative, regardless of what our politicians are saying. So on that front, he's technically not wrong. I know he's just saying it about, uh, you know, there's more Muslims or whatever, but... It's just fucking ridiculous. Because they're because because the people love us. Or maybe there are a billion Muslims and a huge number of them hate Israel and are anti-Semitic. Be very careful <laughs> what you say about Israel. Fair. Any believer going against Israel, you are making yourself an enemy against God. I don't know how this Zionist propaganda made it to the black community, but it is incorrect. First of all, Palestinians and Israelis worship the same God. It's the God from the Abrahamic religions. Wait, why did he go, uh? It's true. What the fuck? Why did he... Wait, am I crazy? Why did he go... No! <laughs> First of all, Palestinians and Israelis worship the same god. It's the god... Look. Of <laughs> like, he's, like, shocked. He had, like... He got whiplash from that. He got scared. Not, not in his Torah. Second of all, Palestine is not going against God by not wanting to give up their land to Israel. Land that they've lived on for hundreds of thousands of years. Whoa! Hundreds of thousands? That's, that's an amazing piece of news. Hundreds of thousands of years Palestinians have been living there? That's, that's kind of strange. Hundreds of thousands of years, as person say. I like that he's, like, shitting on this TikTok, but he's, like, a serious man. He's, like, a serious commentary guy. And he unironically just shaves, like, he doesn't say hundreds of thousands, but he he was like, Israelis were there 3,000, 4,000 years ago. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Historical genius. As far as the Palestinians and, and the Israelis are worshiping the same God, it is true. That Allah and God are the same God. It is not true that the Palestinians... Wait, why did he... Why was he grossed out by it? Then? Palestinians are worshipping the same God as the Israelis. Not in this conflict, where Hamas is worth worshipping a death cult. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. He's spitting there, though. Yeah! He hold said... Up, hold up. Yeah, he said... He, he kind of ate her up there a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he said Hamas is actually worshipping a different God. Fucking got him, dude. The U.S. and the European nations are so for Israel, they should give them land from Europe or True. land from the United States to live the on. The Jews are indigenous. The Jews are the indigenous people of the land of Israel. It's why Judea... Ah, ah, Jews are indigenous to Israel. Yeah, dude. It's like everyone's indigenous to Africa if you go back far enough. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jews are indigenous to Israel. <laughs> it's so stupid. Land back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a landmark movement. He's woke, dude. He's fucking woke. Ben Shapiro's gone woke. Yeah. This is sick. Yeah. Jews are indigenous and Ben is famously pro-indigenous peoples. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's time to give... It's time to give Native Americans uh, their their own version of, of Mark 84 rockets and munitions and Iron Dome so they can do land back in the same way that Israel is doing. I fuck with that. To the Palestinians. Let's go. Judea is called Judea. God, the, the historic ignorance here suggesting the Jews are somehow the colonial outpost in the Middle East when Jews predated the existence of Islam by some two millennia or so. It's so crazy. These people... No, it's crazy to fucking make any claim like this because there is no, like, there is, everyone can now live everywhere with this, with this uh, concept. It's so, I don't know. I just, I mean, I personally uh, am, of course, a famous Panturanist, so I do think the entire world is Turkish and therefore uh, it belongs to the Turks. So technically, you know, it's time to give the step back to the Turkic. Uh, uh, Mongolia owns the world, basically, all the way into fucking uh, Europe. It's time. It's time. Um, you know, uh, uh, Jews can have Israel, and then uh, the Turkic, the Panternist movement will take over everything. <coughs> Just stay off my island, bro. Islam isn't genetic. The Muslims that are there now used to be Christian, and before that, they had a different religion. I know. Like, it, it, that, that part is really stupid as well, so it doesn't matter. DNA evidence shows that 80% of Palestinians and 50% of Jews had a common ancestor within the last 3,000 years. They're both indigenous to the region. What is it, like, Kant? Canaanites or something? Isn't, it, isn't that what it is? Canaanites? Canaanites? I don't fucking know. I don't really care about any of this shit. I, I'll be honest. Like, the whole... 
the whole concept I mean, around. I don't think that I think most of these people making these arguments don't care about this argument either. Yeah, yeah. Ben acts like he cares about it, which is really stupid because like there is no justification for Israel's actions right now. Um, but I, I just I haven't done like enough. I will admit personally that I have not done enough like of a deep dive into three thousand year. <laughs> 3,000 years of uh, uh, Judea theories. Clip it. No, because it's so stupid. Clip it's like it. a ridiculous fucking argument to try to, to base. It's myth-making that literally completely overrides like written documents of a, of a movement that considered itself to be a colonial movement, okay? That's it's that's why it's stupid, like you said, like you read, you read Theodore Herzl. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, it, it, that's that's the reason why I'm like it's so dumb because the fucking founding fathers of Israel didn't consider it to be anything but a colonial movement. It's so dumb. I I also think this goes back to something you were saying yesterday and something you've been saying a lot, which is there is this Im implied uh, fear and concern and also messaging about the bloodlust of these people who are subjugated and what the, the violence that they'll visit upon their oppressors if they're allowed to live in peace um, and, you know, democratically and all that stuff. And I think, like, fuck, I just lost myself. It was just, like, it was just going. And it it was just gone, bro. You were spitting. I know, I was spitting, and then I just fucking lost it. Yeah. Anyway, free Palestine. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, don't know. More Hamas propaganda. <laughs> Anything. There's so yeah, the irony is it is very, like, na Nazis also had a mythology that naturalized their violence. Like, it, it's just because it's fascist, okay? Fascist movements inevitably seek out, like, weird fucking national identity myth-making, and Nazis did that shit with, like, Nordic runes and, and whatever the fuck, like, esoteric... Uh, Nazi theories uh, were established at the time as well. Um, it is basically another. It, it's a it's a continuation of like, oh, we were always here. We always deserve to be here, which is why like, uh, you know, it's not. Who gives a fuck what the founding fathers said? <laughs> like, this is our land for three thousand years. Yeah, Nazis doing it with ancient Rome and even before that. So ignorant and they are so unbelievably stupid. By the way, the argument that she's making about repatriating Jews to say Europe, where last time Jews were repatriated there, you know, it ended really poorly. You know what I noticed? If you look at a map of the Middle East, Israel is like this big. And if you look at all the Muslim countries surrounding it. I love that, dude, this is always the same propaganda. Okay, bitch, what about Gaza? Like, do you know how fucking tiny, do you know how minuscule the land of the Palestinians is then? Because anything you say about Israel, you can say tenfold for the Palestinians. Like, oh man, look at how sign look at how tiny the area they gave the Jews is. Like, oh, I was fucked up. <laughs> it should be much larger. <laughs> like <laughs> What do you mean? What do you fucking mean? Yeah, they're like this big. And yet none of them are taking in any of the Palestinian refugees. Out. Weird. Weird how that works. Strange. Doesn't matter that eight hundred thousand Jews were expelled from Arab Also ridiculous because like it, the the land given to all Jews, as he says, even though like originally when that land was partitioned out, there was significantly less people there anyway. I just, I hate it. I hate it. For 15 million versus 2 billion, that's pretty fair. <laughs> that's not how any of this works. And Muslim lands in 1948 to 1957. Ironic because like 1948, the, the uh, or before 1948, like the land partitioning specifically was unjustifiable because there was uh what was it like 20 percent jewish 80 percent palestinian and they got a 50 50 split like it was already ridiculous even back then no i think it was um or 30 percent yeah 30 percent jewish uh, uh oh oh my goodness this old ben shapiro is just at this point honestly i don't even know what to say like it is so damn crazy oops <laughs> Like, this is hilarious. Honestly, what do you guys think about this video? I would love to hear your honest opinion, okay? Let me know what you think about the video. I'm so sorry for the dog. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry for the background noise. Let me know what you think in the comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge, huge, huge thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, join Viva CT. Hit the subscribe button below. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can always be the first person to know whenever a new video drops. And with that, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.